What's going on guys? So we are here at Bishop RV Center in Corpus Christi, Texas, taking a look at this Flagstaff Microlite 25 FBLS. This is a very cool compact travel trailer and it gives you a lot of really nice amenities. It's definitely among my favorite line of travel trailers. I really like the Flagstaff product because they give you so much, especially for the price. The construction is really nice on these and they tend to be a little bit nicer than some of the lower cost travel trailers that you might see. So hang tight. I think you're going to like this video. So let's take a look at the numbers on this 25 FBLS. So first of all, it has a gross vehicle weight rating of 6,849 pounds. It has a cargo capacity of 1,482 pounds. It runs on 3,080 pound axles. This is a little heavy for a half ton truck, but if you do have a max tow package and you're competent towing and you take all the precautions with your weight distribution setup, this isn't a stretch for half ton towing. Just make sure you have a truck that's more than capable for towing this. I would highly recommend though a three-quarter ton truck for a travel trailer this size or really anything over 6,000 pounds. Again, experience towing differs from person to person and if you feel comfortable towing something this long, this tall, and this heavy with your half-ton truck, just be sure you're being very safe and cautious. As with all Flagstaff micro lights, this unit rides on the Dexter Torflex suspension system, which is essentially an independent suspension system. It has Castle Rock tires on it and eight-inch I-beam construction and it utilizes rack and pinion technology for the slide system. For the smaller slide, it has the Schwintech slide system. Again, a very reliable slide system. Any of these systems can occasionally need adjustment, so it's always good to understand how to adjust the system, and there's a lot of YouTube videos out there that explain how to make micro adjustments in the event that it gets off slightly and you need to bring one side in more or push one side out slightly. Coming around to the connection side, you'll see the 30 amp connection here, cable satellite, and there's your water outlet holding tank connections. This utilizes manual scissor jacks, as well as LED lighting on the back, LED lighting up top, and it is pre-wired for a Furion wireless backup camera. Has your spare tire back here as well. Has an outside shower. Here's your city water inlet connections and your black tank flush. Coming around to this side, you'll see that it has the Moride Step Above system. But what's also nice is that this utilizes kind of that easy lift technology where it essentially can lift itself. Very, very light, makes it very easy to deploy. Back of your furnace, this is the back of your water heater. This right here is the vent, so whenever you have your hood vent on and you're cooking something, that's how you get the steam out. You do have to make sure to open it up, and the way you would open it up is simply pop these clips out, and this kind of swings out a little bit, which allows the vent to work on the inside. Otherwise, you're just recirculating that air. Outside speakers, a nice long awning, which pretty much covers the entire park side. And then you have nice storage space. That's another thing Flagstaff is known for, is giving you a tremendous amount of storage. Check that out. That is huge. Aluminum framing above. It's probably two and a half feet wide at the bottom, maybe three feet wide, maybe three and a half feet wide at the top. Plus it's about two and a half feet tall. This is some of the best front storage space you're gonna see on a travel trailer. Okay, let's step inside this 25 FBLS. You can see the light colored flooring has a very tile effect to it. So even though this is gonna be a vinyl flooring, it still appears to be a tile, which is better than some of them that I've seen. It has limited countertop space here, but once you flip this section up, it has a pretty good amount of countertop space. You got good storage here, good storage up here, microwave. This is that vent hood I was talking about. Whenever you have the vent hood on, you wanna be sure that that flap on the outside is open so it's actually working. Coming up front, you have this huge opening here to get into the bedroom area. Queen size bed, you got a lot of room on each side. This is that front slide that you saw. So this is gonna be your wardrobe space for any type of shoes, shirts, or clothing, anything like that. And then you got more storage on the top, and then you have another closet space over here, as well as drawers right here, and a nice little side tables, or end tables for the side of the bed. And more space right here. Again, they do a great job in these flagstaffs utilizing space that other manufacturers might leave kind of empty, which would be a big hole there that you couldn't normally see or even access in other fifth wheels. Coming to the back, 
you'll see you have your refrigerator freezer as well as your sofa, which turns into a bed, more of a love seat, it turns into a bed here. Your TV is directly across from it. You have your Furion sound bar, all your controls here, your slide controls and lighting. Plus you got more storage down here, which is great. And this is huge storage. These probably go back two and a half feet. Going towards the back to your bathroom, has a very good sized shower stall. So you could be upwards of six foot three, six foot four, fitting inside there. Has a lot of widths to it as well. This isn't that typical travel trailer bathroom, which is so small that you can barely fit in it. Plus a nice porcelain cornered toilet. Have a lot of good countertop space here. You have your vanity. They even gave you some more storage right here for toothbrushes and things like that. And you have space back here for toiletries, towels, and whatever. And it's a good size space as well. That's more space than we have in our fifth wheel in our bathroom. So overall, it's a very nice interior. It's very well laid out. A lot of room here, mainly because this slide that comes out is this entire section, and it goes out a full three feet. So it gives you a tremendous amount of space once it's open. This is a coach that could sleep two in the bedroom, two out here, four people, and shoot, you could probably even put like an inflatable bed down here if your kids want to bring their friends. This has an advertised price of $27,900. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.